What's up guys, Shane here from 3D Printing, and today we are going to fix this chisel with a little bit of help from a 3D print. This is not like how you sharpen a chisel, this is me like, can I make this work? <laughs> I don't know. Welcome back guys. So I found this chisel in my stuff and I want to use it and the, the tip is just absolutely god-awfully destroyed. I have no idea where I got this from, uh, but the tip there is just absolutely demolished. So, I didn't want to buy a new chisel, so instead I went out and bought a sharpening stone. I was like, okay, I can do this. But then I do remember my dad teaching me years ago that when you sharpen a chisel, it has to be at a certain angle. You have to be able to get that angle just right, and if you rock it too much or too little, you're not going to have the right angle on there. So I went online and said, hey, can I find a 3D print? And of course I did. I found this guy right here. And this is like a super simple, I think it's even called like the super simple chisel sharpening guide or something like that. Either way, I'll put the link down below so you guys can check this out. But I mean, this again is really simple. It's really shaped to be able to hold your hand almost like a mouse. Do 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 do. Kind of feels like there. But basically your uh, chisel goes in upside down and you'll level it out there and then it's held in place by these two M5 this is an M5 by 10 this is M5 by 8 I believe uh, and there's uh, nuts that you have to insert in there they're a little bit of pain to get in but once you do it it's fine you get that on the right angle and this is basically to give you that angle so you can slide back and forth on your surface to be able to fix this. Now, you don't need a sharpening stone to do this. I just wanted to have one for a while, also for my axes and things like that. This is a 400 and 1,000. We're gonna be doing this on the 400 grit to start with. Uh, you also can do this on sandpaper, apparently. Just get a nice flat surface, not this desk, because it's not flat. <laughs> and then using this tool to put it in there, and then go back and forth, and that will sharpen it. But because there is such damage to this thing, I feel like we're gonna have to use the stone here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, put in here. I'm actually gonna use the stone to help me get it at the right place here. That out of the way, here we go. So we get that on there like so, and we get the blade. We get that all the way down touching, and then I'm going to hold it, flip it over, and tighten down these two. Whoop, I need to move the blade a little bit. That's still making good contact. And if we look, we can see that is completely in contact there, which is good, I think. This is not like how you sharpen a chisel. This is me like, can I make this work? <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, yeah, so now other people have done, I've seen this done with, um, with wood is actually make like a holder for this and it has a big back area so that you actually have space to do this. I'm just gonna be doing it right here. Um, it's probably not the best thing, but I didn't have really wood around to do it and I didn't feel like 3D printing this gigantic base, at least right now. If this works, 100%, I'm gonna do that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to see how long it's gonna take me to do that. So I'll be right back. All right, yeah, so shortly after starting there, I realized that this is not like my other like axe stones. This is an actual whetstone. So yeah, threw this in some water. I only had like this old paint thing uh, to get it wet uh, without like ruining Tupperware or something like that. Um, but yeah, so I've been at this for a while and I've gotten to this point here. Uh, it seems to be working pretty well. I've gotten most of the burrs out but there's still some pretty heavy divots in there. And I mean, yeah, if I had a, uh, like a grinder, I could do this in like two minutes, but I don't. So this is all I have. Um, but yeah, it's been working out pretty well. I did have it in there a little bit crooked. So you can see my line is not perfectly uh, perpendicular there to the edge of the blade. The side's a little bit high. So I was canted in there a little bit like that. Whoops. But again, I am not a woodworker. This is only just to help me out with a couple small tasks that I needed a chisel around for, mainly for just getting on, like topping off something, mainly glue. Um, 
But yeah, so I think this is coming up pretty good. I'm just gonna keep at this for a while, but I just kind of wanted to share what it was like to use this guy. Um, pretty good. Uh, there was some wear on it in here, uh, but I think if I would have built uh, something else, my microphone battery keeps dying. So I've seen these used, not wet. Uh, I decided to go the wet route with this, um, but I mean, my, my travel movement is pretty small on here but I'm able to just repetitively go at it. And you know, again, it's kind of working. So hope this was useful to you. Maybe you can use this in your project if you have a chisel that you need help on or if you just don't have a super fancy chisel holding sharpening deal or you just can't hold the right angle all the time. I don't know, maybe this will be helpful to somebody. Yeah, okay, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, hope to do more projects, little things like this. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy printing.